Welcome to today's daily worship. Today's passage is Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 27. All things are possible. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered. No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. Teacher, he declared. All these I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said. Go, sell everything you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At this the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. Jesus looked and said to his disciples, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were even more amazed and said to each other, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Let's now take a closer look at today's passage. Most of us like our world to operate in a predictable way that we can control. We know what's important to us and we accept our own limitations. Days fly by and it's all quite agreeable until suddenly everything changes and we can hardly recognise our lives at all. It can feel as though we have fallen into a no-man's land. We have no grid for understanding how we got there. It's similar to Alice as she tumbled into the world where the Red Queen lived in Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, and how she responds to her new situation when she is asked to believe impossible things. Alice laughed. There's no use trying, she said. One can't believe impossible things. I dare say you haven't had much practice, said the Queen. When I was younger, I always did it for half an hour a day. Why, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. In this excerpt, Carol manages to shine a light on one of the bigger issues of our Christian experience. Alice is a lot like us. She sees the reality of the world and cannot see how incredible things are even possible. Her mind is finite, fixed, and it tosses the miraculous over to the side and declares, it's impossible. The Queen admits she may not do it enough now that she's older, but somewhere in her younger days, she was able to believe many impossible things even before breakfast. What keeps you from believing impossible things? What causes you to imagine the world is rolling along almost without hope? What if we believed what Jesus told us? With man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible 
with God, we would begin to trust that no matter how things look, God still reigns. When you experience the bleak moments of life, look up and see the one who offers you his grace. Reach out to your creator, the one who makes all things possible. God knows all that is possible for you, and he wants you to know it too. Just say it aloud. All things are possible with God. Welcome to today's reflection. Jesus extends his mercy and grace to you today. Come into his presence and joyfully receive what he wants to release into your heart. Look up and see Jesus. Focus on his character in the stillness of this moment and allow faith to rise up in your life. How can you live in such a way that others are inspired by your faith and the things you are personally believing for? As we finish today's time of reflection, pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, 